Hello, and thank you for watching this regional forecast update for the Western U.S. I'm Andrew Pritchard, Senior Meteorologist with Nutrien Ag Solutions. I want to steal 90 seconds of your time just to remind you we're going to be changing some of the ways that we deliver our regional weather forecast content to you here at Nutrien Ag Solutions. The Tuesday and Friday regional forecast videos for the Corn Belt, the South, the West, the Northeast, along with the Wednesday and Friday regional forecast videos for the Canadian Prairie, those are going to cease to exist and stop being produced as we get to the other side of the holidays. Instead, as you log into your Nutrient Ag Solutions or Agrable customer or employee account, you click on Weather Story, you bring up the map, you click on your region, in this case it would be the West, it'll pull up a page where normally you'd see your YouTube video there. Instead of the videos, now you're going to have a Nowcast section at the very top, five days a week or more. I'm going to be freed up to push out updates on the most impactful weather specific to your region, what you need to know, how it's going to impact your operations over the next couple of days in detailed and again, free, frequently updated fashion. So you've always got the most recent thoughts straight from my brain, straight from Eric's brain. Again, instead of just waiting for these Tuesday or Friday weather videos. You'll have updates every day specific to your region, specific to the uh, the impacts that you're concerned about, and whether it's freezing temperatures, precipitation, snow, you name it uh, during each season. Again, this is going to uh, free up a lot of bandwidth for me uh, mentally and physically. It takes a lot of time and energy to sit down and create videos for four or five different regions across North America each morning. Instead of doing that, I'm going to sit down and say, all right, what's important? What's changed? What do these folks need to know right now? And we can push that out to you. So again, I know you know folks like the videos sometimes uh, and maybe sorry to see those go, but it's really going to be freeing me up to use my strengths a lot more, uh, a lot more frequently and in a lot more useful manner for you all. So again, Eric's videos will live on Monday and Thursday, and then the Wednesday long range. The Tuesday and Friday videos are going to be gone, but in place of that, Monday through Friday, if not more, when it's needed on the weekends, the weather does not sleep, you'll be able to find the latest uh, thoughts from myself and from Eric. And again, with my, my strengths in meteorology being in the short-term high-impact weather world, producing these long videos just is uh, leaving a lot to be desired for what I could be relaying to you. So let's just jump into the forecast that was probably more than 90 seconds. Temperatures across the region generally in the 20s and 30s until you get to the coast. You can find some 40s and 50s, mid 50s as you get into Southern California. We're in a bit of a lull across the west right now, or at least moving into one. We've got a storm system that has just moved through portions of Washington and Oregon. Moving through the northern Rockies right now, dropping some snow on the Canadian prairies over the next 24 to 36 hours before the system continues on into portions of the Great Lakes as we get into Thursday. Our next storm system, our next push of moisture here is lingering across the North Pacific. That'll make its way into uh, the north, uh, uh, northern portions of the west as we get into the weekend. So several days of drier weather here, or at least another couple 48 to 60 hours of dry weather across the west. Now we look at the radar here this morning. Again, some very light precips still happening across northwest Oregon. Generally, much of the snow has moved into portions of Idaho and western Montana this morning where we have winter weather advisories in effect for this storm. Big area of high wind watches and warnings across the high plains. Very strong wind gusts associated with this storm system as it ejects across the high plains over the next 24 hours. Your last seven days of precipitation, again, where we saw the four to six inch totals, that's across western portions of Washington and northwest Oregon. Precipitation trails off into the inch to two inch range as we get into southwestern Oregon down into northern California. And then we did see some snow in the Sierras as you make your way down into central California as well. But precipitation across the Central Valley, leaving a lot to be desired. Now we will get the opportunity for some precipitation into the Central Valley as we head into the weekend. We're going to get some moisture here uh, again as we get into Saturday and then into early next week. It'll be dry for the next few days across the region. But uh, while this is not going to bust the drought, it's certainly good news to bring some moisture down into Central and Southern portions of California. And this is all part of this very active, very wavy, progressive pattern uh, from the North Pacific all the way into the eastern United States that just continues to send storm systems into the region. So again, we'll get this into motion. And here's the system that is departing right now. Here is the next wave well off across the uh, North Pacific. So ridging moves in. That's going to quiet us down. You see that right here as we get into the middle part of the week here, Wednesday into Thursday. 
the next waves start to make their way in as we get into the weekend. So this little low down here, this really pretty much fizzles out and, uh, and uh, uh, is much more subtle when compared to the wave uh, that is lingering off to the west. That one blasts in here as we get into, again, into the weekend. This is going to bring the next wave of precipitation into the area before it sneaks in across the northern and central Rockies. And then the next low comes in even further south, this one with a much better chance of bringing some precipitation into central and southern California as we get into uh, the Monday and Tuesday time frame. So let's just jump right into the precipitation forecast. I know that's what actually matters to you guys. You're not waiting for the next 500 millibar height anomaly uh, to swing over your region. You're waiting for the next round of precipitation. And this is what that looks like. Here's the little subtle low. Again, really just going to bring maybe some light moisture, some drizzle to Southern California as we get into Thursday night at the most. Really, we're waiting for the next wave here Friday into Saturday as this one makes its way ashore. Across western, western Oregon, you'll see that rain starting to fall here and maybe some snow in the higher elevations Friday morning. And then as we get into Northern California, probably a Friday evening, Friday night event here uh, with snow across the Sierras lingering into Saturday. We'll see that moisture then begin to taper off as we get into Saturday night into Sunday. So it's a Friday, Friday night into Saturday precipitation event across uh, Washington, Oregon and California. Snow then lifts across the northern Rockies as we get into Sunday. The next low comes slamming in here as we get into Monday. So uh, again, Friday, Saturday precip, lull Sunday. Next wave comes in here Monday. Sierra snows. Looks like some rain across the Central Valley, but it does move out of here quickly as we get into Monday night. So we're not looking at, you know, an atmospheric river event. We are going to bring some precipitation into Central and Southern California, but it's going to be a progressive storm system that quickly moves from west to east across the region uh, over a 24-hour time period. It looks like the active pattern does continue across the Pacific Northwest uh, and into Northern California as we head into the middle part of next week. But of course, we'll we'll leave some of the details on that for some of our later forecasts. But uh, as we look at total precip between now and Friday morning, pretty quiet. A lot of this has already fallen across this region. So we'll keep it quiet as we head through the day today into Wednesday and Thursday. Precipitation begins late Friday into Saturday. Total precip then as we add things in all the way through December 29th. So this is now the next seven days. And here's where you see again the Friday wave, uh, Friday into Saturday. And then here is that like Sunday into uh, or late Sunday into um, uh, Monday wave across the south. So a good chance for some precipitation, of course, when we look at the Central Valley. We're talking about tenths of an inch up to maybe a half of an inch. And then across uh, the I-5 corridor here, this is where we're talking more. Uh, in the the realm of an inch or so as you look at the snake river valley we're talking about tenths of an inch again so a lot of this again in some of the higher elevations uh, but again it, it's nice to bring some moisture in even if it is not a long duration event it's nice to get a little something going here as again eric's been doing great analyses on uh, the transition you know potentially out of la nina looking for the subtropical jet which would really enhance things across this region so if you didn't watch his video yesterday Go check it out because it's got some useful information there as far as the long range pattern goes. Here's your snowfall forecast over the next seven days. Again, some good snows across the Cascades, across the Sierras, and additionally across the northern and central Rockies as we head through the next week or so. Temperatures, we will see some occasional shots of cooler air, but generally over the next five to ten days, near seasonal averages, if not a little bit uh, above average at times. Here are your highs for the day today. We'll take this into tomorrow. Cold air sneaks in across the Rockies. We'll stay pretty mild across coastal portions of the west, though, as we head into Thursday and Friday. Likely, though, we'll get some cooler air moving in here as we get to the back half of the weekend into early next week on the, uh, the other side of the uh, series of troughs that will be moving through the region. I hope you have a great Tuesday. We'll talk to you again tomorrow with our long-range U.S.-focused weather analysis.